Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D, there's a useful feature to integrate hand-painted masks into your shading workflow without ever touching UV coordinates or texture projection? Cinema 4D's Object Manager allows you to assign a so-called vertex map tag onto an object via Tags menu, Other Tags. In geometry, a vertex is the corner point of a polygon. So the name vertex map tag says it all. We can paint points. Because with a double click on the tag, we get a simple paint tool that we can use to paint a yellow color on the initially completely red object. We can paint intuitively, completely independent from UV coordinates and texture projection. Red and yellow are nothing but the graphical representation of values between 0 and 1. That means no effect and full effect. So the painted result is not intended for direct rendering, but only for assigning effects, for example, for the effect range of a deformer or certain shading aspects. And this is exactly what we can do in Redshift. For this, we create and use the so-called Vertex Attribute node. In its field, Attribute name, we drag the Vertex Map tag we want to use. If we set the node to solo, we see that red and yellow are translated into black and white. A strong hint for using this as a mask for shading aspects. So in this scene, I use the vertex attribute node with the corresponding vertex map tag to control the amount of subsurface scattering of the shell material. A very intuitive workflow. Please note that painting vertex maps is only possible with polygonal objects. However, the Vertex Attribute node is not only useful for utilizing painted masks, but also for creating some special shaders that are natively not included in Redshift. More about this in the next video. Please have a look at the finished project via the link in the video description. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D every marvelous Wednesday on this channel.